Today I'm going to try and get the seat together for the Galaxy and get it installed. I don't know how much of the seat work I'll video as I videoed some of the other seats, but um, the camera just gets in the way and gets knocked down and it just doesn't work, you know, you need a lot of space to horse with this. But anyway, we got the new cover, we're going to get the old one off, get the new one on, get it in installed in the car and if it remains nice maybe even go for a quick ride in the car all right let me uh get started i moved the that project out of the way there will be a separate video on this and uh we're gonna get started here notice the difference so it looks like we're gonna have to change both seat covers and this is the way the original was this isn't even original it'll look fine this one came out pretty good it's a lot smoother than what this one is so we're going to change this cover too i gotta get this bracket off and i don't know i might not be able to have to take this bracket off but i probably will because I, and then i'm going to have to poke the holes in this there's some adhesive here i gotta clean off but overall i think that's a pretty nice fit this is the driver's side, it's all connected up, no pulled stitching, the top. I mean, you know, it's going to take some time, it's going to, there's, you know, but that, that will come out just from being stretched on, that's just from being boxed up. But overall, I think they're going to look really good. I actually like that on the back of the seat it gives contrast to this it looks really nice and uh, we're going to change that cover too it was a whole seat cover complete complete front bench seat cover i got hopefully i don't have to take that out and redo that <laughs> hoping not anyway let me uh get to getting this one apart well here we go the seats are in these wrinkles will come out the other one other seats all that kind of wrinkle stuff came out the backrest looks better on this side. You can see where I was wiped the seats down and still a little water on there, but yeah, we got both seats installed. And uh, I think we're going to go for a little ride. It's cold out. It's only in the upper 40s Fahrenheit, but it's sunny out, so I think we'll, yeah, that looks good. Totally happy. That, this this wrinkle, will, that'll come out. That just, everything's looking good. I'm happy with it. The only thing I got left to do is I got to unbolt the seat from the car and lift it up enough so I can run the screw in this, this little vinyl thing here. Covers where the seat clips in and that screws underneath the seat there so I will do that probably another day and I still gotta attach that that's just sitting there the dash pad so that'll be a future day in the next maybe next week one day I'll I'll do that tomorrow's Mother's Day so I'm not gonna be around tomorrow but yeah so we're gonna we're going to um, go for a little ride. Let me get the battery hooked up. Close the trunk lid. We're going to leave the wheel covers off. Might take this out so it doesn't go sailing around. This is a lot of the trim and stuff that is yet to go on. That's what that little visor starting instructions were in that. And... Uh, Anyway, we'll, I'll, I'll uh, finish arranging the trunk and then we'll get the car going and go for a ride. There we go. Just move some things around so nothing, you know, I don't want that stuff flying down and possibly denting a hubcap or something. And uh, let me get the battery hooked up. One other note, too, since I ran it, there's been no coolant. This, this is where I would, well, you're probably not going to see the bottom of the shroud there, but that's where I'd see the coolant. Like there was two drips there, just two, and I don't see any more seeping from the tank. So it might have just been from sometimes coolant seeps from odd places when 
car's sitting. Let me get a wrench and tighten that up, and we'll get. I got to move a car in the driveway too, so let me uh, tighten that up. And we'll get the thing going and get moving. All right, let me get the key. I think the garage door opener is in this car somewhere. Let me see. I think it's in the glove box. And uh, yeah, it's clouded over. It's kind of become nasty out. So yeah, hopefully it won't rain, but I want to go for a ride. It's been a long time. It's a fun car to drive. All right, we'll hit the accelerator once. It's been over a week since it's been started, so it might take a minute. All right, I got a, I can't video to get out of here. It's kind of tight and there's a car right there. So we'll get it out and then we'll go for a ride and get some video why it's out too. It's all dusty on the outside. I got to dust it off. I shut the engine off so I can get the trunk open. We started, let it warm up while I dust it off. And Looks like I got some smudgies on my white wall. I'll clean them off sometime. All right, let me uh, dust it and we'll go for a ride. Well, the sun just went back behind a cloud. It was peeking out here. And I wanted to get the car while the sun was on. It looks really nice. Looks nice out here in the daylight. Look at that. Those things came out so nice. I gotta finish these. So what's left on the interior is finish these, attach this, and put that strap for the right here. Attach, fasten that underneath the seat where it belongs. And a little surprise, I ordered a, I treated myself and ordered a little extra. I ordered custom made floor mats and they're going to have a Ford Crest logo. Not the Ford script, but the old Crest that they used on the front lower third. I ordered them from the same company that uh, made the carpet and uh, they're a couple hundred bucks so I thought, well, I'll splurge, you know. Look at this. It looks too nice to drive it without floor mats so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna have some floor mats and all right let's uh let's go out for a little little stroll all The citywide garage shell going on, and people will just park wherever they please, like there where there's no parking. Steering wheel's pretty good now. It's might have been the tires causing it to be off center. Tires do cause that. It's actually dead straight right now, so maybe the alignment's all good on the car, but I'm gonna get it in and get it aligned anyway just to make sure. But yeah, that's that's right about where that's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna Gotta wait for the light here. <laughs> here it is. 
Yeah, I'm happy with the car. It looks amazing. It does look amazing. It really truly does. The interior is just stellar. First time it's been on the road in what, five months? I had to dust it off. It was all covered in tree pollen. The steering wheel is centered now, so it might, must have been the tires that were causing it to be off center. It handles better too, it drives better. New tires made a big difference. Watch out for people that are everywhere. Yeah, I'll try not to run anyone over. get over how much quieter it is in here without you know with carpet and everything what a difference that made too centered steering wheel. Wow. <laughs> this thing drives like a brand new car. It's like it just rolled off the assembly line.
video it doesn't look all hilly like it is, you know, up and down. The video looks like it's all flat.
we did about an hour drive, 50 miles. Had a nice cruise in the car. If you like the video, definitely hit the like button. If you want to see more cruising and the car finished up, subscribe to my channel by hitting that 348 engine icon. And thank you for watching my video.